Here's another building. This is the condition of buildings in the main street. This is Stafford Street, by the way. Main street of the city of Timaru. This is one of the buildings. 334 Stafford Street backpackers. Look at the condition of this building. Backpack is closed. Bit of a disgrace, isn't it? I'll go and show you who owns this building shortly. We're going to have a look at his his business and see what sort of building he's got. There it is, it's called the Dominion Hotel. That's it. The Dominion Hotel. And the other one is called the Hydro Green. Both an eyesore. In the main street of Timaru. The people that own these don't care. They're just, they're just going to let them fall down. They're never going to paint them. They're never going to do anything with them. They just use them as superannuation funds. So when they retire they can sell the land. After the building's fallen down. Here they are, famous South Canterbury Achievers. Wonder what they think of this building, these buildings falling down. Wonder what they think of Timaru now. If they were, most of these people are dead. Some of them are still alive, but what, what do they care? Do they care about these old buildings? Nah. Only care about themselves. It's springtime in Timaru. There's the rose garden down there. Not a flower in sight. There's Caroline Bay, not a person in sight. This is the piazza, cost millions of dollars to build, not a person in sight. Keep New Zealand beautiful. New Zealand is beautiful, all at once in Timaru is some people, some people who care, not people who speculate. People who care. People who care about this old hotel. If the Timaru people really cared, and they really wanted to, they could come down here one Saturday, lovely sun, fine day like today, and all start painting the hydro, couldn't we? Eh? We could do that. But no, I tried to do it and finished up in bloody jail. And a mental home. I'm in Stafford Street and this is Carmack Creations and the guy in here that owns this he sells drugs, he's a drug dealer G'day, how are you? Uh, another store he's got here is called The Funk Store uh, and he sells drugs uh, to young teenagers he's allowed to, the, the people in Timaru don't mind if he sells it he's on the main street but Nobody cares in Timaru. Just down the road from uh, Carmack Creations in the Funk Store, the drug dealer, uh, we've got another building here called First National Reed and Wilson. Actually, nice looking building. Uh, very good. These guys are real estate agents, and the uh, son of the owner of this building owns the that old Dominion Hotel, he's the one that's responsible for all the uh, no paint and all that stuff. Peter Wilson, I think his name is. And there's their flash looking building there, very nice. But then they've got, they, they also own the um, Dominion Hotel. Yeah, there they are. They, they, they sell uh, commercial properties. Um, this, these are some of their properties that's for sale. There's the uh, former tower building there. All these properties are for sale, commercial properties. And the salesman is Bruce Wilson. Bruce Wilson. And down the bottom there you'll see his son, Peter Wilson. They're, they're the family that own the um, Dominion Hotel. That doesn't have any paint on it, but they don't care. Anyway, it's Reed and Wilson. That's the name of them. Saturday today, Saturday morning. I wonder why they're not open. I think they want to sell real estate the weekend to be the time to sell it. 
They can do much money, I suppose, eh? Don't need to open. If you enjoyed this video, then please send a donation to Timaru Tourist Promotions Limited, 132 Glenetti Road, Timaru, to cover the cost of the paint that Timaru promoter Ronnie Bishop wants to buy so he can paint the historic Timaru Dominion Hotel.